Hi everyone, you know I talk about HoneyBook and Dubsado a lot, so today I'm just giving you a brief review, overview of all the different things that HoneyBook can do and some of the features that are special to HoneyBook. Um, check out our HoneyBook and Dubsado playlist to see some of these features more in depth, as well as some good comparison videos between uh, the two different platforms. I do have a discount code that I'll put in the description as well as link in the corner for you. A HoneyBook plan start at $9 a month and then with the 50% off discount, it's less than $5 a month to start using HoneyBook. So uh, make sure you check it out. You can do a seven day free trial and I'm just gonna hop in and show you what this system can do. Okay, so when you log into HoneyBook, here's what it looks like. Um, if you've watched my comparisons with Dubsado, you know that the features are very similar as far as questionnaires, projects, those kind of things. So I really think that connecting with the interface is a great way to make your decision unless there's something that you specifically need that HoneyBook offers or Dubsado offers that the other platform doesn't. Um, HoneyBook is really great. It's really user-friendly and has come a long way since I used to use it as a client uh, back when I was a wedding planner. So when you come up here, you have your dashboard, which is really nice. You can create tasks, you can create a calendar. They do integrate with Calendly, um, as well as Zoom, Zapier, and QuickBooks. You can look at your reports. One of the things that I do love about HoneyBook is that it really shows your lead sources. So you can see um, your success rate here. You can see where your leads are coming from. So this will be like Wedding Planner, Wedding Wire, The Knot, Instagram. You can customize these completely and it'll ask everyone who comes in what the lead source is on every single project. So I love this. You can sort of do it in Dubsado, but it's not going to give you this awesome uh, report and you can also show the value conversion rate and time to book based on all of them So I think HoneyBook is really dedicated to helping you get better and book more leads Also some more reports up here You have a little bit of bookkeeping functionality. Um, I'll link a blog post that I have kind of talking about Bookkeeping and accounting in HoneyBook compared to something like QuickBooks, but you can integrate with QuickBooks that's going to make things a little easier. If you only accept payments in HoneyBook, if that's the only place that you do uh, business, then you can definitely use this bookkeeping, but it's a little bit less robust than something like QuickBooks. And then of course we have our projects, which is a tab up here as well. And what I love is that you can customize all these little books here. So inquiry, follow up, proposal sent, planning completed. Um, if you are a designer like me, you can put it in, you can have a stage that says proofing, you can have a stage that says, you know, in production, those kind of things. It's whatever you want it to be, which is really, really nice. And when you get into a project, uh, let's go in here. You'll see everything for that client. You see all of their email activity right here. So you can scroll through the entirety of your conversation, which is really nice. Um, you can change, I love that they say what's only visible to you so you don't accidentally do something weird that your client can see. Um, files are going to be like brochures or um, proposals, this kind of thing. So if I wanted to add a file here, I could add a proposal and it's going to take me to, these are my recent proposals and then these are my templates. So let's go with main package three piece. This is a proposal template that I created. It's, uh, I love that they have the three different things that you see within the proposal here. I think that helps clients. Uh, to see what they're going to expect from this document and you can just scroll through all of them or click to go to one. Um, one thing that I love about HoneyBook specifically is their invoicing. It's just really nice. You can just click here and change my new design package is $1,000 um, and I think it looks nice the way they do this. You can also add um, images to the proposal items. So you can show a little image of what each item is. Um, and separate things into different packages, move things around, it's really easy. You can just select here if you need tax, um, and then it's going to be uh, totaled up at the bottom, of course. The, this is your payment schedule that you've created. For me, it's just 50-50 based on the project dates. And of course you can change those things. Um, if you change it within this file, it's going to change it just for this project, which is really nice. So you can start with a template and then you can change it for this project. Like if they wanted to add wax seals or something like that, you could put it in there and it wouldn't change it on the template. So the next project that you added that template to would not automatically have that wax seal. And then you have your contract, um, which you can just scroll right through. 
clan initials, all of those things. Um, with HoneyBook, when you come on board, they will upload all of your templates for questionnaires, contracts, um, maybe something else for you when you come on board. So there's a lot of work that work that you don't have to do if you're switching over from a different system. If you go into tools and templates, you're going to see this here and we have all of our questionnaires. So I have my information, uh, invitation information questionnaire, and this is something that they created and brought over from Dubsado for me when I first opened my account. So it's got all the questions. Um, these are required. And for instance, if you wanted to add a question or a section, it's really easy to choose different types of questions here, text, text area, radio buttons, check boxes, drop down list, and also do a static um, text area and collect project information. So if I click on that one, it's kind of project type, project location. You can still delete these if you want them, but these fields are already mapped. So they'll go to project location. So then later, if you want to create a form that says you know, has the venue name there, then it will automatically be mapped and you'll be able to make a form that basically says insert product location here and it will insert the venue name there or whatever they put into this field here. The one that I use the most is project date and then the names, project type. Um, you can customize all of this, which is really nice. And I use the project date to create any workflows or anything um, that needs to be sent, you know, a month before, two months before, that kind of thing. You can also do lead capture. I have another video showing this in Dubsado and it's very similar, uh, but you can create basically a contact form that has all the information you need as well as whatever else you want to do. And then you can embed it on your website, which is really, really nice. And every time you get a lead, it just comes in on your website um, already as a project. You don't have to create that project from scratch and you're able to go ahead and get started on their work with all the information you need from them. I also just want to quickly show you workflows. Um, so workflows are automated things. So you can basically say when X happens, I want to do Y. So you can send an email that will send a certain number of days after you activate the workflow before the project dates. This is kind of what I was talking about. Like if you're doing a wedding invitation, you might set it to send the information questionnaire six months before the project date, which would be the wedding date. Or, you know, if you do the project date as their mailing date, you could do it a different amount of time before. But there's all these different triggers you can use. Um, previous step is complete, which is a really great one. You can wait till someone sends a questionnaire and then have it send an automatic email saying, hey, thanks for filling out that questionnaire. Here's the next step. Um, you can do something for after the contract is signed, all those kinds of things. So there's just a lot of really wonderful things you can do here. And I love the, uh, I love the workflow capabilities because not only does it take all of the work and put it in one place, but it actually does some of the work for you. So you can get thank you emails, you can get resource emails. Something that I love for my workflows is to send resources. Like here's how you word wedding invitations. Here's how you um, address your wedding invitation. Here's some videos you might find helpful, those kind of things. And you have those to automatically send. So anything that you are sending over and over again or questions that you're answering over and over again, if you can find a way to automate those into your workflow, it's gonna save you so much time and energy and make your clients think, wow, she's such a well-oiled machine. This is a really giant company when it's only you. <laughs> That's one of the things I love about it. It makes me seem a lot, a lot bigger and more put together than I am sometimes. Something you can't do on Dubsado, which is really fun, is batch emailing. So if you wanted to put a bunch of contacts in here and then send a single email to a select group of contracts, you can do that. So that's something like, hey, all the weddings that are coming up with COVID, tell me what's going on. Um, hey, here's some resources for you for this thing. Or you can kind of use it as a an email collection tool to some extent. I wouldn't say it would replace something like ConvertKit, um, which I also have a video on just in case you're wondering. But I think it's it's a really cool way to use some of the contacts that you have. Maybe you have a bunch of wedding planners as your contacts in HoneyBook, and you can send them a batch email, just updating them on your services and sending them, you know, a special discount or something. And there's two more things that I can't exactly show you in this video. So first of all, HoneyBook has a mobile app that works basically the exact same as this. So if 
And if your job depends on working on the go or that's really important to you, then HoneyBook's gonna be a great choice. Second thing is this Chrome extension, which is fairly new. I can't show it to you because it works mostly if you use G Suite and I don't use G Suite, I use Outlook for my emails. Uh, but if you do, you can get this Chrome extension and every time you're in your email on G Suite, the projects that your emails are talking about will pull from HoneyBook. So you can basically use HoneyBook in conjunction with your inbox instead of switching back and forth between tabs. And honestly, if I use G Suite, HoneyBook would be no brainer, hands down the best way to go just because of this Chrome extension. It's such an amazing feature that they've added recently. Um, so if you do use G Suite, I hope that you will um, check that out. Really easy to access. And then of course you can access HoneyBook through the mobile app as well with all of these exact same features. So if this is a good intro overview review of HoneyBook, uh, check out the HoneyBook and Dubsado playlist on my channel so that you can see some of the other functionality more in depth. Um, the systems are somewhat similar in what they can do. There's just some of those specific features like the mobile app, the Chrome extension, um, the batch email feature, which are specific to one system or another. But if you see the lead capture video in Dubsado, it works very similarly here in HoneyBook. So check those out. Let me know what questions you have about HoneyBook. And I do have a 50% off code that you can use. You can actually get HoneyBook starting at $9 a month. And with my 50% off, that's less than $5 a month, which is really amazing. Um, so check out the link in the corner as well as in the description of this video, or you can use code Blaney. If you've already created an account and you're about to uh, finish your free trial, you can go ahead and enter code Laney to get that 50% off.